Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click on that bell button and you will be informed of all the latest videos. So the British comedian Ricky Gervais has um, has weighed into the Batley um, Prophet cartoon protests, alayhi salam. And this is what he said on his Twitter account. Blasphemy. Effing blasphemy. It's 2021 for effing sake. What's next? People being punished for insulting unicorns? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You are right, Ricky Gervais. Just not for the reason you think. Agreed. It's the 21st century, and hence we don't live in the colonial era. It's not the 1880s, when privileged Englishmen like you dictated to the world the moral landscape of what is deemed offensive and what isn't. <laughs> you think you're sick, mate? I'll twang you daddy dick with a shot at me on Facebook, you know? So get your fat face out of your smelly Arsington and smell the coffee. The irony is, it was men who think like you. Insensitive, ego-driven, wannabe, cultural despots who made the world the way it is, through colonialism. The world was globalised and different people moved to different parts of the world. Recently, we saw the Middle East bombed into the Dark Ages, and then people complain about immigration. It seems to me that you want to be a clever, smart Arsington and a pig-ignorant one at the same time. Well, you can't have it both ways. Sooner or later, this stuff bites you back. Send me location. Then I'll... Hey. You are comparing the love of our Prophet salam, with a unicorn i.e. a unicorn is an imaginary mythical horse. History lesson, Muhammad وسلم, is a real historic person who lived in the 7th century. Did you know that? And by Allah's permission, this man stroke prophet transformed our world. Have you? His efforts shaped and continue to shape the lives of billions of people to this day. Do you? For 1400 years, it's given people's lives depth, meaning and purpose. His inspired efforts help answer some of the toughest questions facing humanity. The meaning of life, birth and death. Does yours? How to make sense of life's inevitable struggles and suffering. How to live each day with inspiration and dignity from cradle to grave. This noble man's efforts helped to create a civilization and society that ruled the world for over 1,000 years. It was the envy of the world when my and your rock in the Silver Sea was still the whorehouse of the Angles and the Saxons. Pow. If it wasn't for the efforts of the Muslims, preserving and building on the Greeks, the Babylonians and the knowledge of the Indians, Europe wouldn't have had its renaissance and none of the advanced stuff that came much later would have happened. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve the glory of our Prophet alayhi salam eternally and inshallah our love for him for the sake of Allah will never die. And you are comparing him to a children's storybook unicorn? Grow a brain cell, dude. Get your head out of your ego soup. You are drowning in that filthy stuff. Because if anyone's worth comparing to a unicorn, it's intolerant people like you, sir. You're an old English comedian, right? With toxic views. So you're kinda rare. Well, I'm from England too, but unlike you, most people I know appreciate that the world is just too big and if we're going to make it, we have to learn not to insult each other's sacred stuff. But because you're just a comedian, you want to feel big and revolutionary in front of your Twitter mob. But I should actually go easy on you. I'm sure it hurts being outdone, outworked, outwitted by a broke, unlettered man who rode a camel in the desert in the Middle Ages. Because unlike you, he didn't have the help of air travel, Twitter or social media. He didn't have phones, print, news networks, friends in high places, Hollywood to carry his message. It must hurt that someone like that with nothing like that could still whoop your fat Arsington 1400 years even before you had a fat Arsington named Ricky Gervais and the best you can do today despite your millions and all the tech is be a fat old whiny Twitter mobster 
And this is the mistake people of your ilk make. You think just because you live in the 21st century, you have superior worldviews. Everything from the past is intrinsically bad, everything from the East, and heck, anything from the desert, and isn't written by someone in the last three years, but someone with an Anglo-Saxon name must be hocus-pocus and tosh. You just don't want to entertain the idea that you might be wrong, that there might be other ideas and cultures out there doing things differently. It's the height of a colonial mindset. You may well call yourself a classical liberal, a humanitarian, but virtue signalling labels don't make a man. It's the contents of a man's character that betray him or her. I suggest you take a lesson from our beloved Prophet Salam. You may yet find your real self, sir. His message will release you from your celebrity fakery. Leave your fashionable Hollywood belief in the laughable entire cosmos from nothing idea and come to the truth. Find your true self, sir. Our noble Prophet didn't succeed in life and win the world over because he had a fickle Twitter mob and morally inept characters like Bill Maher behind him. He won because he spoke the truth. He won because he made virtue his life's work. He placed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the center instead of himself. He put his ummah before himself. He didn't just talk justice. He starved, fought, and put his life on the line for it. Yet, he was not just a warrior. He was also the best husband, the best father, the best leader, politician, statesman, religious leader the world has ever known. And that is why we will defend his honour till the very end. Next time, Mr Gervais, if you can't say anything useful and coherent, please don't embarrass yourself by trying and then failing to take on the greatest man that ever lived. I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.